Hi, I'm Rebecca Reed, the Outreach Manager here at the Fort Worth Museum of Science and History. We're so happy that you can join us for part of our Mars Rover landing celebration. The Mars Rover's landing on February 18th, and we hope you all take a chance to see that as it's happening. Today, we're going to be doing an activity where we look at the topography of different planets and how water can influence those. Now on Earth, we have lots of different um, types of water. We have salt water in the oceans, we have fresh water in lakes and streams and creeks, and we can see evidence of what that water has done on our planet. If you look at Mars surface, currently there's not, there's, it's kind of debatable if there's liquid water. There's some people who think there are, there's some people who think there's not. And most of the liquid water that they're thinking of is kind of frozen under ice and in salt. But by looking at the surface of Mars, we can see where there was formerly water. Lots of the landforms and lots of the things that we see on the surface of Mars resemble the ones we have here. So to do this today, what you're gonna need, you're gonna need a few different things. You're gonna need a piece of copy paper, you're going to need a towel or a microfiber towel, something to catch water in case you spill. You're going to need water-soluble markers in a couple different colors. You're going to need water, and then you're going to need something to drop water with. So you can either use a pipette or a water dropper bottle. Now, if you've never used a pipette before, I'm going to give you a quick course, crash course on how that works. So you're going to squeeze the bulb at the top, you're going to stick it in the water, you're going to let go, and that soaks up, sucks up the water. Now, what's important to remember is when you're getting the water out, we just want little drops, so you're going to very carefully, slowly squeeze it. And you may want to practice over your cup first if you've never used one before. If you push it really hard, what you get is a stream of water like that, and that is not what we need for today's experiment. So the first thing we're going to do is you're going to take that piece of paper, you're going to spread out your towel so you have a nice flat surface to walk with and work with, and you're going to take that piece of paper, and you're going to crumple it into a ball. And so what we're doing here is we're kind of creating all sorts of different paper mountains and paper valleys and different things. Then you want to carefully flatten it back out, but not all the way. And you also want to try not to rip it. And you still want to have some elevation. So you can see on mine, you can see all those different hills and valleys and whatnot. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to take a marker and we are going to trace one of the ridges. I'm going to trace this one right here. And what you're going to do is you're going to put it down on your table. You're going to pick a color and you are going to color that ridge nice and dark with lots of ink. I accidentally flattened it, flattened it out a little bit. You want to make sure you have lots of ink on that ridge. And a ridge is sort of the top of a mountain. And so once you've done that, you can see I've done mine here. Then we're going to take our dropper and we are going to drop drops of water on there and we'll see what happens. Now I want you to stop and think before and make some predictions about what you think will happen. Is your water going to go uphill? Is it going to go downhill? What's going to happen with the ink? These are all really good things to think about. So I'm going to drop some water on. And I think that the water, because I use water-soluble markers, I think the water's going to change color. And I think that my water's going to flow downhill. And if you keep, and I was right, now if you keep adding water, you can see where it flows. And eventually, it'll flow to different little valleys and things, and you'll kind of have a little lake. I'm going to try to hold mine up to show you, but I'm not sure I'm going to be able to without all the water running down. And you can kind of see there where mine all kind of pooled up. Now, you can keep doing this. You can try other colors on other ridges and see what happens. I'm going to do this, this one right here. And you can see you put a lot of ink there. And you can keep testing and seeing if different things, um, if different, you know, different trials result in the same, the same thing happening. You can also try to create specific types of landforms if you want that you're familiar with. And you can test those. So these are all, it's kind of a great way to kind of look at how water flows and how it how the topography of a planet and um, is influenced by the water on the surface. I want to thank you all for joining us today um, for our Mars rover landing celebration and we can't wait to see you again at the Fort Worth Museum of Science and History.